Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a reading which is what is pulling your Divine Masculine back towards his Divine Feminine at this time? What is it about you um, and your energy? What is it that he loves about you, likes about you, your quality? So what is pulling him back right now? So this is a general reading for the collective. So take what resonates. So thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. Please press the like button. Um, so more people get to see the videos and I would appreciate your su subscription that would be great I'm trying to grow my channel but thank you everybody for watching so let's get on with the messages so what is pulling your divine masculine back so he sees this divine feminine as someone very spiritual you could meditate you're highly intuitive and you may have known things about your masculine that he didn't know how you knew those things you're very charming, you could be very good with people, you get on with all people, you know, you're very calm in energy, and you're just good company to be around. He does see you as his divine feminine and empress. He sees you as someone in your power, someone abundant, very nurturing, and he realises that a lot of people will be attracted to you. And again, I feel that's part of the reason he may be on his way back because he's going to know that you won't be on your own for long, you won't be single for long in this energy, because you will attract a lot of attention in that energy. He sees you as very beautiful, you're stunning, very attractive, but it's not just externally, he sees your inner beauty as well, he sees your soul. He sees you as someone very loving, very compassionate, very caring, and you've obviously been, been like this with him, in, in those energies with him, and he's really enjoyed that side of you. You could be an animal lover, you could both love animals and, you know, you may rescue animals, you may have pets and again, that is a connection he feels with you, your love of animals. You could be an empath, um, you're very highly empathetic, empathetic, you sense people's feelings, emotions and, you know, you can probably sense a lot of things about your masculine again, which he didn't understand. Um, you could have been intimate with each other and you are a confident lover, you're very sensual, you love to give and receive pleasure and he enjoyed those times that he spent with you very much so. There's a lot of passion between you. You're very thoughtful, you help others, you're the sort of person that helps anyone, you know, you think of others before yourself very often. So again, these lovely qualities. He sees you as somebody who's very adaptable in your life, you could have been through a lot in your life, you could have had a lot of changes in your life. And he sees how adaptable you are. You overcome these things and you just work through them without much of a fuss. He sees you as someone very wise. Again, you've been through a lot in your life and he admires your wisdom. He does respect that about you. He could see the connection as being very abundant. He, he, he feels that abundance with you when he's in your company, that loving, abundant energy. And he thinks that you are a very lucky person, you know, in abundance. Or that you're good at creating, manifesting your own abundance. And he wants this sacred unity with you. We've got this beautiful rainbow here. So he does feel this connection, this divine connection with you. And he does see you as a goddess. You know, maybe he's put you on a bit of a pedestal, um, which isn't always a good place to be. Um, because then in that way he's putting himself down he may not feel worthy of you or your your love and he sees you as somebody who's very nurturing you're very kind as i said you're very caring and you've nurtured him at times and he's felt your nurturing energy and he's really missing that energy right now i feel yeah he wants that harvest with you he wants to have that abundance to you know the seeds you've sown the seeds of this connection and he wants it to come to that fruition he wants to harvest with you and autumn time could be significant i've had that come up in a few readings so that could be a significant time for these connections and he remembers the times that you shared the great pleasure you had with each other you know in and out of the bedroom he enjoyed your company very much yeah he sees you as someone very moral you're somebody that you know, does things for the good of people, always thinks the best of people, you know, you're not a negative person, you try and be positive and are a positive influence on other people and he loves that about you. 
He sees your uniqueness, your individuality. And again, this is something that makes you stand out from other people he's known. He sees probably not from anyone like you before. He sees you as someone very unique, very individual. And he loves that about you as well. Yeah, but he has love in his heart for you. You know, he may not have told you this, but this, you know, this is confirmation for me that there is love here between you. He is feeling that love for you. And he has passion for you. You know, we saw that with the lover card there. There's a lot of passion, a lot, a lot of love and desire between you. You could have had like really hot sex, very, you know, sexual. The flames of passion were lit when the two of you come together. And again, you know, confirmation, he does see you as his divine counterpart, his divine feminine here. And he sees you in that abundant energy and we've got all the stars i think around her i feel he does see you as a wish fulfillment but again he may have put you on a bit of a pedestal may think that you're out of his reach but he sees you as someone very magical some of you could be white witches as well some of you could be tarot readers psychics you know healers you know there's something magical about you and he, he is intrigued by that he wants to know more about that yeah, he, he thinks you're one of the most caring people he's ever known. And he misses your soft kisses. The way you kissed each other was magical. And you were great in bed, a very skilled lover. So if you've been intimate with each other, they very much enjoyed your skills there. <laughs> and if not, they've been fantasising about that. And again, you know, they see you as someone truly beautiful inside and out, basically. And so compassionate as well. They love the fact that you're so compassionate for others. And you have a beautiful smile. They love the way you smile. And you are very great. You give really great cuddles. And they're missing your cuddles and, and that closeness with you right now. They miss your sexuality. They, you know, you're sexy, confident. They've got these feelings and thoughts and they want to take action with you. They want to show you in the bedroom how much you mean to them. You know, they enjoy tasting you and you enjoy tasting them. They miss that intimate loving with you and they want to have these sensual delights with you, try new, try new things with you in a sensual way. They felt very passionate. They felt very aroused. You know, you could have aroused them more than anyone else. They're desiring and wanting you right now. And they want to show you their love. They want to embrace this love and just let it take them over and, and show you how much you mean to them. And it's not just about in the bedroom. They want to love you with their clothes on. They, it's not just about that sexual intimacy. They felt that you weren't being honest with them. And I think that was mutual. I feel that you were both hiding things. You weren't being your authentic selves. Maybe you were afraid to be vulnerable with each other at the time. And they cannot get, get you off their mind, basically. You're constantly on their mind. And it was a very intense attraction between you, mutual attraction. And they want to be back together and hold you in their arms again. They're really missing that. And they want to have a fresh start with you in love here. And they want to be official, they want to be that official couple and, and tell everybody that you are together. Um, because I think they have that fear that there could be somebody else coming in to snap you up because you're in that divine feminine energy. Yeah, they let you go and they're regretting that now. They're really regretting letting you go or vice versa, okay? Um, but sometimes we need that time apart to do that healing work, to do that inner work. Because being in your energy felt like home to them. You felt like home wherever you are feels like home to them. And they could have had past life memories of the times that you shared in the past. And again, they're missing that se sexual, sensual side that you shared for some of you. And they really enjoyed that time. And they want to explore more of that with you. They really do. And they love the way you're so creative. And you might have triggered them. They may have triggered you with your creativity you're you're very creative and they really admire what you're creating right now and you're inspiring them i feel to be creative they know they need to have the courage to come forward they they're building this up they know that they need to come forward if they don't want to lose you because i feel there is this fear of losing you right now yeah they feel that this is a soulmate they do feel this soul connection with you and I think, as I said, they've had past life memories, past life dreams about the times that you've shared in other lifetimes. They could have seen visions of you and them together. 
and they they just can't go for your beauty you know your beauty entrants them um entices them you know they feel spellbound by your mystical beauty but as i say it's not just external they feel they see your internal beauty because they connect with your soul energy i feel some of them may have been meditating on this okay they may have been going within connecting to their intuition their higher self to really get that focus to get that clarity in their mind about what they want to do what action they want to take because they remember those playful times that you shared. They want that playful, fun energy. Everything had got really serious between you and obviously these regions for people in separation, no contact. So, you know, there's that lack of communication. Um, things may have got very difficult between you, you know, not in a good energy. And they want to bring back that playful, fun energy that you had at the beginning when you first met. And they know the differences between you can be worked through because they feel the opposites attract and that you do balance each other out, the yin and the yang, the positive, the negative, the dark, the light. The differences is part of the attraction for each other. That is what attracts you to each other. Your differences, I feel, more than anything. And that moon energy, we've got that eclipse energy tomorrow and the energy is very happening now, basically. And this moon energy is going to trigger something you know, it's very powerful solar eclipse energy here. And I feel their feelings are going to start coming to the surface if they haven't already. And they're going to want to act on these feelings. Because they're seeing visions of you. They see you in their mind. They see you in their dreams. They, You know, when they close their eyes, when they're awake, they see you. you know, they can't get you out of their mind. We've got Aphrodite here. They see you as a goddess. As I said, they've got you on a bit of a um, pedestal. There could be some sort of tower moment. This always reminds me of the tower moment. It's chaos. Something's going to come in to really shake up this connection, shake up your worlds individually. So something's going to happen out of the blue, possibly. Quite sudden, sudden change. Yeah, because they're wishing for you. They're wishing for you to come back, to be back together in each other's arms. And this could be both of you. You're, you're wishing on a star. You're trying to manifest each other back. You want to be back in each other's arms. I feel that is mutual energy. They see you as this high priestess of air. Um, somebody very intelligent, very um, much a match to them with their intellect. They can see you as someone very mystical. You know, you're somebody very much in the heart space, but you're also very intelligent. You have a really interesting mind, uh, a mind that's creative that searches for the truth and that fascinates them about you. And you're a very good listener. When they've been with you, you've listened to them, they may have been going through some stuff and you were a really good listener. And just being in your energy, they felt very calm, uh, very peaceful and you helped them de-stress just being in your energy, just listening to them. And they love your confidence, you know, the way you are. You're confident in yourself and your abilities and the way you are in the world. And they want to be in this confident energy as well. They want to come forward in a confident energy. So they're trying to get into that confidence in their own lives, in their own being, to know that they are worthy, are deserving of your love. They want to be that warrior of love. They want to come in as your divine masculine to be that powerful masculine to be that supportive loving partner that you deserve they know you you deserve nothing less and they want to be that warrior of love for you because they want that fulfillment with you they want that abundance they want that love um you know that abundance in home family finances in in love in all areas of their life they know they can have this fulfillment with you so what are their feelings? So they've, they've been in a nervous, afraid energy um, because they know they need to come forward, but they've been a bit fearful about it. They've been spending time alone, really going within, as I said, with their intuition, their higher self, really connecting with what they want. Yeah, they've withdrawn a lot from the world. They may not be interacting much with many people and they're hoping that you will forgive them. And they're working on their own self-forgiveness at this time because they want that satisfaction with you. They want things to be good between you. 
and they're coming into good self-esteem they're working on their solar plexus energy and they're missing that sensuality with you your your beautiful loving sensuality they want to be in your arms and and really connect with you and they're feeling the love you know it says under the light of the silvery moon i feel love's bloom love is blooming within them their love is blooming it's coming to the surface and they're seeing signs and symbols all the time. I feel your guides and angels are really directing you back together. They may be seeing white feathers a lot. They may be hearing musical numbers like songs that connect you to. They may be seeing numerology numbers, angel numbers. And we've got the energy of lure. I feel you're both feeling that pull back to each other. You know, this is that energetic pull back to each other. There's nothing you can do about it. And then we've got the coming together. So... New feelings are emerging and you're seeing someone in a new light. What was not there before, whether felt or, or not yet known, is making itself known for you. So this person, you may have been the one that had the feelings or admitted your feelings and this person didn't, okay? But they're starting to have those feelings and they're going to come to the surface and they're going to want to express it to you. So just trust. We've got dreams that are coming true. Release the past. If you have a conversation with this person you know maybe talk about that but don't bring the past into your present energy let it go just work you know work through it talk about it but release it okay and what is it that you truly want to manifest use these moon energies to set your intentions to manifest your desires and know that you are a beautiful soul you are worthy you're both beautiful souls and you're going to heal the past okay there is massive healing here and there will be an emotional reunion, okay, and that's coming in. And a good outcome is forecast here. So this, you know, positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. So think positive. So final unicorn magic messages. So ask your angels and guides for help, guidance and support at this time. You know, pray to them, connect with them with your meditation or however you do this. And they will assist you. They need you to ask them before they can step in and help you. And be adventurous, you know, move forward in your life with that adventure spirit, you know. Live your life fearlessly and adventurously. So they're the messages of what is pulling your Divine Masculine back towards his Divine Feminine. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Bye for now.